Hi, I'm Lucy Hale, and this is my 10-minute beauty routine. Okay, so I have clean skin right now, but I definitely feel a little dry, so I'm gonna, woo, came out stronger than I thought. Do a little toning. This is the Osea Sea Minerals Mist. I kind of travel with it everywhere. Press it into my skin. Just gets my skin a little more hydrated. Before I do makeup, putting on Augustinus Bader, the cream, which is my favorite. It doesn't make me break out, but it keeps me pretty moisturized. And I lather it up. Don't forget the neck. And this is what I use morning and night. And then I'm going to use my Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Because your girl is a little tired and this one sits nicely in her makeup too. So my skin is primed. Elta MD sunscreen is by far my favorite sunscreen because I feel like it doesn't clog my pores as much and it's really lightweight and it doesn't stay white. It really blends in with your skin. So this is my a staple in my cabinet and it is SPF 46. I trust it because it says 46, not 45, not 50, but 46. Don't forget your eyelids and the bridge of your nose. So the first thing I like to do, I just discovered this actually, it's Summer Friday's Sheer Skin Tint and it's in shade four and it's very lightweight. So I am not really a fan of foundation at this point in my life, unless I really need extra coverage, but my skin has been behaving lately and this just looks like your real skin. And then I take one of these Makeup by Mario foundation brushes. I love this one. I used to be a beauty blender or a uh, makeup sponge gal, but I feel like with the skin tints, this just really spreads it nicely over the skin. I'm, I'm fascinated by makeup. I'm fasc fascinated by the looks makeup artists come up with. And I worked with the makeup artist, Kelsey Dinahan for many years on, on countless looks. And she's really taught me about like skin tone and where to apply concealer, how to cover zits. Um, she's the best because she still always lets me do my brows even when she does my makeup. Okay, so as you can see, it's just pretty sheer and nice and gives me a little bit of a glow. But I like skin to look like skin. I think like we're in the age of, you know, with filters and social media, like it, I think we've forgotten that skin like has texture and pores and, and so I like to let a little of like my freckles and sunspots and things show through. And then next, I'm going to do my concealer. I love concealer more than any product. I've tried all of them. I'm always, that's the one thing I'm constantly trying a new one of, but I'm gonna start with my, um, this is an under eye corrector because the older I get, like my circles are just getting darker and it's just something that I will live with. But I like this one, it's like a peach, peach color and I just kind of put it in this pocket right here before I do my concealer and how I apply my concealer these days is a lot different. That's something I've learned from a makeup artist is I used to think like put your concealer all the way under your eye but I feel like for my eye shape I need it just in this pocket and just here. I think it was like Hailey Bieber or someone like cuts their concealer this way and it makes your eyes look upward and I think that's really cool. So I didn't ever really know until recently that you can apply your, I just would never think to apply your concealer here. That was a cool little trick. So this is a new concealer that I have found and it's by Natasha Denona and it's got a pretty thick consistency but it's creamy. A little bit goes a long way. So I put here, I put here, so you go like kind of upwards. I put under my nose, anywhere you get a little irritated or red, which for me is here. 
I definitely always do my chin. Let's see if I have any like little zits there. Sometimes I'll brighten up here. And there. So this is my favorite brush of all time. It needs to be clean, so don't look too closely, but it's just an airbrush concealer brush. And I just kind of buff it in. Buff it in. See, so that brush just like kind of presses it into your skin. I love it. And it kind of just gives me a little more coverage where the skin tint did not. See, like that's cool. Just like moves it upwards. And then I always get my eyelids because they get a little red. I need a chapstick break. Chapstick or blistic. I have lip balm anxiety. So if I don't have it on or near me, I get really panicky. I have it in my car, in my gym bag, in my travel bag. This is a, I hope this is mine. <laughs> I'm going to use one of my favorite products. It's a soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer from Makeup by Mario. And this is the bronzing brush from Mario as well. And it just gives you a subtle, I just got some sun glow. So I put it on my cheekbones. I put it on more areas than I would a bronzer. Like bronzer I'd put in here, but this I just want it to, ooh, I almost hit myself in the face. I want it to look like where the sun would hit me like right across here. And then I take it up my forehead. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette. And this, I'm just gonna put this bronzy color on my lid, just like kind of in the crease, and blend that in. Okay. Okay, favorite part always brow time. Brow is Anastasia in medium brown. I always go a little bit lighter than my natural brow because I just like it to have a more feathered look. And now I don't fill in much these days because I just like a more undone, undone kind of brow as opposed to really structured. Whereas, I don't know, like five years ago, I felt like I was doing my brows a lot differently. So now it's more about the brush up, which I'll do the gel in a bit. See, like this is what's crazy is, like if I were to actually brush mine up, it would look like that's cuckoo. So we're not gonna do that. But what I do like to do, okay, good enough. Okay, so I'll brush them up and then, don't worry, we're not keeping it like that. But I like them to think they're gonna stay there. So it's like hair memory. So I leave it there for a second. And then I get my Hourglass Brow Gel. This is my favorite brow gel. It's clear, but it's got this really cool brush. So I get, um, if you wanna put the gel on it, use the thinner side. And then, so I brush it up more with that side. This is almost out. I don't even know if there's brow gel on this at this point, but no, this is definitely out. It's time to buy a new one. Um, and then I always brush this part down. And then I kind of bring down, bring that down. And I like these to be a little more messy. Like the inner part of it. Okay, and then this, and also, Brows are sisters, not twins. I mean, mine are like distant cousins at this point. This is the Blush Veil Makeup by Mario. If you can't tell, I love his products. I think they're so beautiful and they just sit really nicely on the skin. And this shade is Barely Blushing. So it's super natch. I didn't bring my blush brush, but that's okay, we will improvise. And I smile. I get the apple of my cheek. There, and just bring it up a little. This is my favorite curler. I love this curler so much, but it's Tweezer Man, and I find that it fits round eyes. 
the best. Some of them I find are too flat for my eye shape. And this one just really gets in there. And I always do like a one, two, three hold. And a couple pulses at the end. There we have a curl. It's crazy what a curl will do in the morning. You're like, oh, whoa. I'm still a little scared of doing this, to be honest. You, Cause sometimes you'll get a pinch of your skin and you're like, oh, I'm alive. Okay, wow. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go. And now one last step. I do a little mascara. This is my favorite everyday mascara by a company called Merit. So this doesn't necessarily make your lashes thicker, but it just gives like a little length to them. And I just do the top. Sometimes I won't do liner. Sometimes I'll just do lip balm, but this is the OG Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. I'll just kind of do the bottom, the bottom here and kind of the Cupid's bow. Ooh, that was sharp. And sometimes I'll just do that and kind of like blend it in. But today is a special day. So I'm gonna add a little, this is Say Lip Blur in Modern. And I like these cause it looks just like barely there. It's like a barely there kind of matte lipstick. And it's almost like it's been faded like I've worn it all day. There she is. Thank you for watching my everyday 10 minute glam. I will see you next time.